So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on any service and then click on T on your keyboard. And now you wanna find TCP-IP Net BIOS Helper. You wanna double click on it. And then you wanna make sure you have the startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service running. And then click on okay. Now when you got to this stage and if the service was already running, then you wanna click on restart the service. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in view network connections, click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna find your network adapter, you wanna double click on it. And then you wanna click on properties. And then you wanna click on internet protocol version four. And now you wanna click on advanced. And now this will come up. And now you wanna click on the WINS tab. And then you wanna tick enable NetBIOS over TCP IP. You wanna tick this one and then click on okay. And then click on okay again. And now for the last step, you wanna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it. And then click on yes. And now once you're on here, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HK local machine. And then you want to expand software. And then you want to expand Microsoft. And now you want to scroll down and expand MS licensing. Scroll down. Until we find MS licensing right here. So now you want to expand this. And now you want to delete both the hardware ID and the store folders. So you want to right click on hardware ID, click on delete, click on yes. Right click on store, click on delete, and then click on yes. Now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.